subscribe, and hit the bell icon. The Plantain Squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh no! It's too late! Whoa! That was amazing, baby squirrel! That was exciting! I guess we better go somewhere else. Goodbye, little friend! We did it! We found the baby squirrel's home! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. 
Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The koala. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is your paw print. The earth here is soft, and when you step on it, you see, this is my footprint. <coughs> Let's see if we can find more prints. Look, Hero, here are some prints. They are not yours. <coughs> Interesting. This print has two thumbs. I have never seen such prints before. What animal could they belong to? <laughs> oh, wow! A koala bear! It must have made those prints. Hello, koala bear. Your claws are really sharp. <laughs> Shh, Hero, I think you're scaring it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, koala bear. Hi, Katie. So, what did you find out? Hi, Leo. As I mentioned, it's called a koala, not a koala bear. It's not a bear. It is a marsupial, which means it carries its baby in a pouch, like a kangaroo. The koala can be found in different areas in Australia. What do koala bear, I mean koalas, eat? A koala is a folivore. That means it eats leaves. Koalas eat mainly eucalypt leaves and use trees as their home. Male koalas have a brown stain with a strong smell on their chest. Koalas also have two thumbs on their front paws and have very sharp claws. The two thumbs and sharp claws help koalas climb trees easily. Sadly, they are in danger of disappearing because their homes are being destroyed. Oh, that's so sad. If the koala doesn't eat, it'll starve. So let's bring the koala home and find a eucalypt tree for him. Come and join us. The koala would love that. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two. Looks like we'll have to cross the creek to take the koala home. <coughs> Hero, why are you barking? <coughs> oh, it's not you, Hero. Oh, no! Where did those ducks come from? No, koala, wait! They're scaring him away. <coughs> he won't leave. Leo, do you have some doggy treats? Good idea, Katie. Here, doggies. Go get it! Oh no! That dog is not falling for it! Koala! <laughs> it fell in the water! <laughs> Good job, Hero! That was brave of you! Where is the koala? Wow! The koala can swim! Stay where you are! We're coming to get you! The koala is climbing up fast. He really is a great climber. Come on down, boy. We'll find a better tree for you. I hope you like it, koala. We did it. We found a perfect home for the koala. Great work, everyone. Yippee! Hooray!
found a koala in our garden. We learned that a koala is not a bear, and they eat a lot of leaves. We took the koala home and found him an empty eucalypt tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Clouded Leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing! What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother, since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub. We have to save it. But we can't get there. This should work. Let's go! Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. Leo, the vines are breaking. The cub will fall into the water. I know what to do. I'll take this. Just in time! We did it! We found the 
Clouded Leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> found a clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sumatran orangutan. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi, everyone. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come on, Hero. It's time to eat. <coughs> That's strange. I left your food right here at this spot. Now it's gone. Lead the way, Hero. Let's find your dinner. You found it. Great. How did it end up here? Hey, someone touched the food. What's that noise? <gasps> it's a monkey, and it's so red and hairy. <laughs> I don't think you should eat Hero's food, monkey. That food is for dogs. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, red monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find more about this ape? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. There it is. It's an orangutan. An orangutan? What a strange name. Orangutan means person of the forest. There are two types of orangutans, and the one you found is a Sumatran orangutan. It comes from the island of Sumatra in western Indonesia. The orangutan you found looks young. He must be looking for his mother. The female orangutans stay with their children for up to seven years. Let's find his mother. I'm sure she'll know what to feed him. Come and join us. Okay, Leo. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn What is it, Hero? Hmm, I recognize that sound It must be a tiger A tiger? Hide behind this tree, everybody Quick! That is a Sumatran tiger. It is one of Sumatran orangutan's main predators. Hello, Junior Rangers. I've called to warn you that a tiger has been spotted around the area. Ranger Rocky, we just saw the tiger, and now we're hiding behind a tree. Just keep calm and do not make a sound. If the tiger spots you, do not run. Stand upright and make loud noises. You cannot outrun a tiger, but you can try to look taller. But we're not tall at all. Oh no, it's coming closer. We have nowhere to hide. I have an idea. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Katie, hold my hat. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> Great work, Leo. You did it. Thanks, 
Katie. Oh, that was close. Let's make sure we don't go in that direction. We did it! We found his mother! Hooray! found a young orangutan in our garden. We learned that young orangutans stay with their mothers until they are seven years old. So we went to the forest and brought him back to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.